Yo, 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 what's up, y'all? My name is Ray Boy. Welcome back to my channel, Fishing Trips. And we back for another vlog, y'all. Got a special one. I got a special for one. Why is it special right now? Check it. That boy got a kayak, yo. That boy got a kayak, yo. All right, looks, man, I think the rain is coming. So let me make this quick. Let me make this quick, boy. We got the 2021 Hobie Outback Mirage 180, okay? Okay. We got our yak gear crate here a little net there this is a seat that has 15,000 ways you can adjust it you got rudder controls on both sides here we have dry box here here we go got my pliers fish grips got my Garmin fish finder yeah it took me damn near 12 hours to figure out how to install that damn thing okay here are my rods out back kickback fins got a storage container up here <laughs> yes yes come through come through hobie all right came with a um paddle there got my ram mount here for my gopro um, action shot Got my action cap in there with my other GoPro. Yeah, man, I'm keeping it light, man. I'm just bringing my four foot eight inch ultralight six pound mono <laughs> rod. Y'all bought this for rainbow trout that I still ain't never caught yet. Of course, I got my life jacket. I got my life jacket. I know how to swim. Don't be racist. So yeah, man, that is my new Hobie. Oh, check it out, boy. I got some 22 inch rims, all right? 22 inch rims. You know, I wanted to be modest, man. I could have got 26s, but I told them, look, I'm trying to stay low-key, so we're going to keep them at 22s. i keep them clean, though. So, yeah, man, let's go check out the area where we're at. This is the Maiden Voyage, y'all. This is the first time I've ever rode my kayak. And um, this is the second time I've ever been on a kayak in my life. That's right. I got a Hobie Outback. And I've only been on a kayak once before in my life. So, we'll see how this goes. We had a really hectic storm come in about 30 minutes ago so we'll see what happens a little bit more water see a ton of bait fish and um yeah looks magical so goal today is to not sink my kayak i don't care if i catch fish not sink my kayak that's it let's go today if i catch fish whatever but as long as i make it back to the house with my new kayak i'm happy all right so personally you know what i think i can do it Reverse. Oh, we gotta reverse. Oh, we on. We on. <laughs> oh yeah. Let go. Yeah, Put some stuff in there. Cool, man. Yeah, it's called a Hobie Outback. Hobie what? Hobie Outback. Outback. Yeah. You got depth finder and fish finder stuff? Yep. <laughs> yep. Took me a good eight hours to figure out how to install that, but thanks to YouTube, yeah. the power of YouTube. <laughs> Man, if you're gonna go high tech, I guess you made it, huh? Hey, you live once, right? That is so nice. You live once. Well, good luck. All right, y'all, so first things first, work our way down this steep hill without dying or crashing my kayak into the water. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, we're good. We're good. Okay, we're good. No, no, no. All right, hold on. Oh, I'm missing my rudder. I need to take off my Sita cart and whatnot. These are waterproof socks and togs, water shoes. I'm so fancy. the way and 
apparently my tug can break down pretty easily hopefully we're about to find out I'm trying to think should I put it in the water so I can get my tug out what up messing up my rudder yeah Alright, so far so good. My kayak is still floating, even though it's on dry land. So yeah. Now apparently um this is supposed to be easy to break down. Allegedly. So these are supposed to just pop out like that. There we go. Okay, so far so good. This pops up, turn down, wheels come off. Same thing. Just pop up, turn down, wheels come off. Now, I hope it has that um, cart with the two wheels that go into your scuffers. They didn't have any in stock, so I went with this. Plus, you know, there's some people that say that allegedly it messes up your scuffers. But hold on, that's how I did it on YouTube. You gotta put some pressure. <laughs> it worked. And from here, these can just store these into my little apartment here <sighs> the maiden voyage Water smells like bass. Y'all know that smell of bass, y'all? I know I ain't the only one. Okay. That's successful. Alright, so far so good. What the hell was that? Apparently there's alligators in here. Got my knife on me. Crack it out, Dunny. Alright. Let's go ahead and... Okay, I think I got everything I need. Still floating. That's good. That's good. Okay. Whoa, oh my god. That's not test screen. I think everything's test screen. So yeah, this damn fish finder. It took me damn near eight eight hours to figure out how to find and rig it up. Is it deep enough? There we go. That's in. Whoa. Don't lean too much right now. Don't don't lean too much. I ordered some um, a leash holder from Amazon, so that's on the way. The main reason I got this is for like the marshes, because I don't want to get lost in the marshes. So I'm just trying to figure out how to find my way back around. Go to the right. See what this is all about. See if my transducer is working. Gave me hell. It's not touch screen right now. Six feet. I guess it's working. All right, so water is six feet deep. That's kind of terrifying. Okay. So, that feels good. Interesting. Let's go this way. Oh yeah, rookie mistake. Gotta put my rudder down. My rudder's not coming down. There we go. There we go. It's a really different feeling um, between like an old town kayak. Cause old town kayak, it was like a bicycle, right? And um, we all rode like bikes. So I know that feeling. But 
this is like a back and forth motion so you're not using as much energy it's definitely different so the reason that um i decided to go with hobie because i did like a lot of research between kayaks and brands and um i don't know everything kind of led back to hobie you know hobie's like i guess the nike or bentley of kayaks because even though i was on a kayak only once i kind of noticed that there were some things that were annoying to me oh wait, there y'all go and mdl are kind of missing like yeah that's some of the faults of old town or whatnot And another thing was this really um the weight you know cover got everything so backed up if you want a kayak you damn near gotta sell your soul <sighs> so magical man i ain't want to fish i'm just enjoying the scenery look at this See, you can't do this from the bank here. Definitely can't do this from the bank. The water is definitely clear. This is so beautiful. So beautiful. So let me play with this. How the hell do you adjust this again? Let me try five. Whoa, what the hell was that? This seat is super comfortable. Okay. So five kind of stresses out a little bit more. Doesn't burn as much. As you can hear, I'm right off the city, believe it or not. Y'all, I'm seeing some swirls. Don't, don't judge me, y'all. Get through the grass, get through the grass. And I'm stuck in the grass. This life jacket at Academy for like $35. I should have knew there was a catch because all these life jackets are like a hundred something. As long as it floats. That's all I'm worried about. It's magical, man. And it's so quiet, you know? I mean, you hear the freeway in the distance, but... There's no people, no nothing, you know? It's, it's totally worth it, y'all. Like, it's like peace. The last time I was here, I was like right over there, hating life and fishing from that bank. But something about being on the water gives you like a different vibe and energy. Definitely different vibe and energy. Love it. Absolutely love it. You want to do a speed test? All right, hold on. Let's do a speed test, y'all.
All right, so I'm gonna do a speed test. Make sure nothing falls out. All right, so we're not at one mile an hour. Here we go. Here we go. 3.2. Oh, I'm moving. 4.5. Four point seven, four point eight, five miles an hour, five point one, five point one eight, oh, five point one eight. You're more like Sarah Jackson. Five point one eight miles an hour. Feel the burn, baby. Feel the burn. Oh my god. What? What is that? They gotta be like a rock. Some kind of down tree or dead body. I don't know what that that couldn't have been a fish. That was terrifying if it was. Absolute terrifying if that was a fish. All right, so we're in 5.5. This little corner is deep. I don't know why, but it's deep. 5.7, and there's a lot of fish marking over here. We gotta reverse. Oh, we gotta reverse. Oh, we on. We on, baby. Oh, no, we missed it. We missed it. We missed it, y'all. I see some fish marking over here. I'm trying to back up. Come on, baby. There's definitely fish over here. Right here in this corner. Because I can see them on my fish finder, baby, because it's working. All right, so we're going back to the truck. It's getting dark, baby. It's getting dark, baby. Oh, look at that drop off. From like four feet to seven feet. Whoa. Oh my God, is that a snake? That look like a snake. Oh, that's definitely a snake. Reverse, Terry. Reverse, Terry. That's a snake, Terry. That's a snake, Terry. Oh my God. It dove. It dove. Where did it go? Okay, it's going back to a shore. Oh my God. Bruh. The snake was coming towards me, man. Trying to get refuge. Just going back to shore now. Oh my god. I signed up for this, bro. Can you make a snake? Can you make a snake? Is there like snake spray? Like bear spray? No, it's time to get back to the truck. Alright, y'all. So I'm heading back. It was a good maiden voyage. We lost one, you know. Didn't really, um, mark a lot of fish um like i said the worker said that he don't know what's going on uh, maybe the fish the freeze as far as the um, fish kill back in february affected all the fish in here so like i said we didn't mark a lot so i don't know but like i said i just wanted to come out here because i knew the area i've been here before and um i thought it'd be a great place to have a maiden voyage so yeah man more to come a lot more to come um, I'm still make bank fishing videos, you know what I'm saying? I'm not abandoning bank, you know, fishing. I'm still do jetty videos. Uh, sir, whoa. oh my God, is that a bat? Ah, it's a bat. Ah.